What's up guys, it's Sinjar with you guys again, and um, hopefully if we get this done quick enough and effectively, this is going to be the last part on the Paper 44 Magnum tutorial. Um, and uh, I tried doing this part a few times, I cannot lie, and I've kind of messed up a few times. <clears throat> just because, I don't know, I'm just kind of being a noob about it. But basically what we're going to do in this part, and at least for right now, um, we're going to try to get this, the cylinder, to stay in place. And what I've been trying to do is, pretty much what you're going to do is uh, get a little tube small enough so it fits inside the, the regular tube, as you can see. And pretty much you're just going to want to tape it on this side of the gun, just, you know, inside on the back. But make it, like, probably that small. Um, I'll cut it. And then just tape it right there so it fits. And then it's going to go inside the back of this. And then this front is going to go inside this tube right here. So then, you know, it stays in place by two, you know, little... Um, holders, um, but I've had trouble with this because it uh, I've been taping it in the wrong spots like a moron um, And I, I would probably advise every single one of you to do this if you're gonna want to get this part I know I said tape this on the back of the gun right right about I'd say right here like Like right there, you know on the back I would actually hot glue it because I would just hot glue the back of it to the gun because taping is Really, really difficult to do. Um, hold on, give me a second. I'm trying to find exactly where to tape this. And I would, if, if anything, you might want to use a pencil. That's what I'm going to do. Because I've been having trouble with this for a little bit now. Um, and just taping is kind of difficult because, I mean, it's a tiny little tube. So if I'm doing this off camera, it's it's just because I'm just trying to tape it. I'll show you what it looks like when you're done. Um, I taped this like way too up before and way too high and just I haven't done a very good job with this. And it's, it's probably my first time actually making a rotating cylinder on a Magnum. So I, I can't really expect to do this amazingly um, and like effectively. That's pretty much what we want though, right there. Uh, mine's not staying too well, but you pretty much get the idea. You pretty much want to get that little piece of tube that you cut from, you know, making a tube and just cut that little bit. Cut it on the back side of this gun, pretty much where it aligns with this one. So this is this is going to be difficult. Um, you know, I think this is going to be easier if I just do this. Uh, I wouldn't do this, guys, but I'm just making like a, you know, a gun to show. So I'm not going to just like, this is just for tutorial purposes. I'm actually going to cut this side part open to put inside the tube, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't probably do this. But I'm just doing it, like I said, because I need to get the tutorial done. Um, and it just makes things easier. If it would, you know, go in. If it would go in. Just like that. And then I could retape this. And it doesn't really like show too much if you tape it pretty well. Um, can't really even tell you cut it. Um, but it's no big deal. So this is pretty much what you want. You're going to want it to rotate like so, and you're going to want it to stay in place just like that. And obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing a little hard, but not too hard. It's not really going anywhere because of that tube back here. And the last part is pretty much just getting a pencil and just tracing this part of the gun. I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you in a second. Let me just trace it, though. You're going to want to trace this part of the gun from probably the, the back of this, the two barrels right here, or the front of the, um, the front of the, like, the revolver part. I, I'm not really good with my words right now, I'm forgetting. Um, and then the back part of the grip, like right here. Um, and it's going to look something like that when I'm done. Um, so... All right, so something like that. If you can see that, it's probably too hard to see. That is actually really hard to see. I'll make it darker. So 
just something like that. As you can see, it's just gonna go over kind of the main chamber, or not the chamber, just the revolving part of the gun. But you're gonna to wanna to cut out two pieces because you know it's gonna go on both sides. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do. This video is getting only okay, only to five minutes. I was kind of freaking out. I normally make everything a little bit bigger um, when I cut out because I can just tape the um, remainings like around the gun. If it doesn't make any sense, you know, I'm a paper gun maker. I wouldn't expect to make much sense. Hopefully that's big enough. Um, should be. Yeah, it's fine. So pretty much. And then you just want to trace where the hole is. Um, but actually, I wouldn't. I, I would definitely fill up this gap if you have this gap. I kind of made that mistake early on. Um, and if you might, you know, I would just fill it up. It's not going to really make too much of a difference. Just kind of just cut out that hole, but make sure you cover this this pot, bottom part of the paper. So. Um, yeah, this part's not too difficult, just... Same thing, cut out on both sides. And after this, just tape it to the side of the gun on both sides, and that's, that's pretty much it. If you want, um, you can spray paint this. I would, if anything, I would spray paint the grip probably like a chromish kind of silver, um, if if you want to. But not all forty fours have that kind of chrome grip. Um, if anything, this looks kind of like a forty four, pretty much just like this. And you want to tape it over the gun like so, just like that. So that's what I'm going to do. And I kind of fucked up a little bit, I can't lie. I kind of just, okay, well, that's what you're going to want to do. I just completely screwed myself over. Because um, I forgot to cover up that little part, even though I just said cover it up. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. I kind of screwed that up. I kind of made them a little small. Still made them a little small. Um, you're definitely going to want to make this big enough so it can still revolve. Um, obviously it's a revolver, you're going to want to make it so it can revolve. I'm just kind of, you know, making some, some rookie moves right now. Um, and yeah, pretty much that's what's going to happen. And you just want to tape it to the side of each gun, just like so. So let me do that really quick. Shouldn't take that long. And I'll show you guys why I said I screwed myself over, and now I'm kind of making myself look stupid. Because I just said, cover that part up, and I clearly forgot. Um, stupid by me. Same on this side, um, it was like this. But yeah, after this part, it's, it's finished. Fellas, paper 44 should be completed. I'm pretty sure what I meant by I screw myself over, I just completely forgot to cover this part up with paper. You should actually cut a little gap right there so it can still spin, but it covers that part up. I'll just I'll just tape over it really quick. I'll just I'll just get a piece of paper and tape over it. So I made myself look stupid. So I'll show you what I mean. It's not gonna look good, but I'll just show you guys what I mean. 
I just wanted to want you guys to kind of, you know, cover this part up with paper. But I didn't do a very good job of that. It's it's no biggie. I make mistakes all the time with the paper when I make paper guns. You just kind of live and learn. Um, and yeah, guys, that's that's a completed 44. Um, pretty much what looks like a finished product. Um, and it has a rotate. Oh, my my apologies. Rotating barrel, uh, which stays in place. You know, trigger trigger guard handle, uh, some sights, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, if you guys want, you can probably spray paint this. I'm not going to. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please drop a like down below if you did enjoy. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and please comment below what other guns you guys want me to make. I always read your comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy me out.